Hey guys, it's me, the Senile Simmer, and I am back with another video for you. The first half of this video is the speed build, and then we go into the creative sim of the family that will be living here. This is part of the new Newcrest Who Dis collab that was uh, set about 15 simmers to recreate Newcrest. And here is the house in the family that I built for my lot. You may notice that this is not your typical speed build and I have a confession. I'm a newbie and I did not push record. And so I was about a halfway through the build before I realized it and there was no way I was going back. So I, instead of recreating the whole thing and starting over, I did a whole lot of reverse building where I went in, deleted things, and then put them back in. Almost like a stop motion, but not quite. A couple of things I knew I wanted. One was a fireplace in the living room, and another was an overlook from the upstairs down into the living room, so that the living room has like two-story walls. I also wanted a nice kitchen and a dining room. I didn't know I needed a three wide staircase, but a one wide was too skinny and a two was off centered. So there we have it. Instead of using doors, I opted for these big archways. I thought it gave the build a little more roomy atmosphere. The only rooms that are closed off are the bedrooms and the bathrooms. I decided to put the kitchen in the back and so we're gonna find some smaller windows to put there. One small window in the bathroom and then the dining room on the right hand side and the living room on the left will have these big tall windows that match the door that we have to the front and also out the back. Now when it came to the front deck I wanted a double staircase and so that was fun. I couldn't quite figure out how to get the stairway to match up to the oddly shaped front so I'm gonna go ahead and put some flowers and whatnot in there to fill the gap we put a deck on the back side and now we begin with the furnishing starting with a screenshot looking in we begin with the living room this is mostly in blues and grays there's my fireplace I wanted and there's a screen, a couple of screenshots for that. Next is the downstairs bathroom. Just a quick build, nothing fancy here in black and white. I do like the shelf system though that I made. I was very proud of that. And there's a final shot. Moving on to the dining room. This is a nice green and brown combination kind of old-fashioned and rustic. And the final shots. The next area to show off is the entryway, the downstairs hallway, just showing the placement of where the lights are, some pictures, the entry with all of the whatnot clutter, and just finishing that up with a screenshot. And the last room downstairs is the kitchen. I went with a brick wall and lots of muted, mostly white, black, gray with pops of color in the stools and the curtains. I love the kitchen. It happens to be my favorite room in any house to decorate, both in The Sims and also in real life. So I cluttered this one quite a bit. And some final shots. And we're out of the kitchen and moving upstairs. And first we start with this little office area and then an area for chess. And here is that area that overlooks the living room with the double walls. There's an art area, just some knickknacks and some final shots of the upstairs hallway. Next up is the parents' bedroom. This was real simple. It was also really hard to get screenshots of. I don't know how you get screenshots in such narrow rooms, but that's the bedroom. And here is the upstairs bathroom. 
uh, with a bigger tub because the parents, you know, a little luxury for them. Some final shots of that. And then the children's room. I did these walk-in closets for each of them. They're not functional, but they look cool. Here is the girls area and the boys room is coming up next with some final screenshots. And that concludes the inside of the house. Moving on to the outside landscaping. I'm not gonna say too much about this. It's pretty self-explanatory. There is a rock slash flower garden out front with a fountain. There is a pool out back. There are trees here and there. There's a smaller rock garden out back. Uh, just go ahead and enjoy the rest of this and I'll come back to you when we get to the create a portion of this video. In the meantime, let me remind you, links are down below. Please watch everybody else's videos. They all worked very hard on them and I'm sure that you will enjoy them. We'll be right back in a moment with the Create a Sim portion. And some final shots. It was winter when I shot those. My house is a three bedroom, two bath home, so I decided to make a family of four. Here is the dad. I am randomizing until I get the dad bod that I am looking for, and that is going to be it. This is Bo Gibbs. He is a full fledged adult. His traits are he's erratic, a glutton, and a genius and his aspiration is nerd brain. Here we are tweaking his body a little bit to give him even more of a dad bod. Then it came to selecting his hair, which we made a little bit gray. I decided he might be just the kind of guy who would have one tattoo of a heart, possibly with his wife's name in it. When it came to his clothing, I decided comfortable dad bod clothes. Not really the height of fashion, is he? Time to finish him up with some wrinkles and smile lines. Finishing him off with a wedding ring, which goes on every outfit because he doesn't want to be in the doghouse. Next up is his wife, Paulina, who is ambitious, a slob, and outgoing. She has the big happy family aspiration. She is also an adult. And we started off for her looking for the perfect hair, which we grayed up and then we gave her her smile lines. She has a little bit more fashion sense than her husband, but I still wanted to keep her comfortable, classic, a little older style, uh, just something that a mom would wear. When it came to her makeup, I wanted to go subtle. I didn't want to go too bright, too bold, just very kind of old fashioned and muted. I carried on that fashion sense in her accessories. Again, subtle, but every outfit 
has a wedding ring because she doesn't want to be in the doghouse either. And I used genetics to come up with their son. I randomly rolled until I found a son that I liked. And here is Adam Gibbs. He is active, so I gave him the rambunctious scamp aspiration. To go along with that, when it came to his clothing, I did try to keep things that rough and tumble, boys will be boys kind of style. Very active. When I created the daughter, I did the same thing I did with the son. I did genetics and then rolled until I found one that I thought fit. She is Janet Gibbs. She is outgoing with the social butterfly aspiration. When it came to her sense of style, I thought maybe a little more popular girl, you know, because of the social butterfly aspiration. So that's what I did. Then I decided I'd change her hair, give her some accessories, and she is on her way. And here is the family as they went up on the gallery. Moved them into Rippling Flats, which is where my house is. I let them run pretty unchecked for about a day, testing things, making sure that, you know, everything in the bathrooms worked and they could get to everything that they needed to do. I set mom in to cook some dinner. She decided mac and cheese would be wonderful to celebrate their new home. And then, of course, she promptly set the house on fire, as you do. Luckily, we did have a fire alarm, so the firemen came and put it out for us. We replaced the items. Even though we didn't get enough in insurance to cover it, and that was fine. We sent her in to clean up the floor and herself. Dad's checking out this bathroom, making sure everything works, and it does. We sent Mom back into the kitchen to try to make us a meal. This time, we went with grilled cheese. This time, Paulina was successful. No further mishaps occurred. She was able to call everybody into meal, and everybody had a meal. I was hoping they would use their dining room, but instead they opted to sit in the kitchen. After dinner, we sent the kids off to get their homework done. And mom and dad helped them. Once her homework was complete, Janice did some dancing and Adam went to bed. Of course, trying to send mom and dad to bed only led them to drink more coffee, which is why I don't put coffee pots in my game very often. Dad finally went off to bed. Mom decided to take a pee and then she headed off to bed. We shut off all the lights and everyone slept soundly. I hope you enjoyed the Gibbs family and the house that they now live in. I do hope you take a moment to look at the links in the description down below and go check everybody else's video. Some very talented creators are there and I will see you next time. Until then, hugs and cookies. Bye. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There are two new videos down below that you can watch. Leave a comment if you'd like. I usually do reply. Hit the like button to share it on your Twitter. I can be found on Twitter and also on Twitch. And above all, have a really great day. Bye-bye.